Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Hold on, son. He'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <laughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my da. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugas. And now you threaten my son. I will not stand for this. Dad, come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait! Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. And suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. 
face went red, but he kept drinking. Folk started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. Know who died? Drogadar. Drakeborn Du. Blue Boy Lugos. Yalborn Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Pull yourself together, Senna. Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. All right. What do we have here? Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Mead. And something else. Something earthy. Bears like honey. Before it's fermented. Strange. Something under the fur. A tattoo? Shape of a bear paw. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. Give me a moment. All the horns are empty. I saw a bear standing by the bench. What does the gods do it? Maybe they're punishing us. For what? You're talking rubbish. Bowl at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. Dragadar. Skald's played his last. So the tale of truth? Autrig. Shit, no more than a kid. But how did they come to be here? Young Lugos. Bears took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. So many wounds. No wonder Hjalborn bled to death. Earthy sent from the bear's maw. Something towards... Mushrooms? Bowls empty, but the scent's in the air, coming from... somewhere else in this room. Here. Meat spiked with some kind of mushroom, and... human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm-hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. I think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Not seen since the red funeral. You died there, and on a yard 
son of a gun. Wanted to talk to you. What about? What about? What do you think, Holger? Let's not hear about salted herring or the currents around Speaker Rogue. Flap your gob at me again and I'll shut it for good. Calm down. You act like rabbit dogs, not yarls of Skellige. Speak, Witcher. How'd all of you manage to survive? What you say, eh? That we're the ones schemed this up? Shut your gob. You're clucking as foolish as a gander hatching eggs. We survived because we're the best warriors in Skellige. You're both damn fools. If not for the Witcher, none of us would be alive. Any ideas who might be behind the massacre? Nilfgaard. They're the most to gain. But we'll avenge our sons. We'll burn their shores from Nazea to Atolia. Wonders abound in the Nilfgaardian army. Towers with wheels, Zeracanian mercenaries on humpback horses. But I've not heard of them having trained bears. This was crack, I tell you. We're in his castle, he let him in. Wasted words, Lugos. I don't know who the traitor is, Witcher, but I'll tell you, it's none of us. We all lost loved ones. So long. May the sea swallow the traitors. Freya, Our Lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said, give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Marjoram. Marjoram. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silas Saib, I believe. All right. Hasn't seen it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I help prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe. Come on, we could find some clues there. May the sea swallow the traitors. Freer, our lady. We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castles are buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other? All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, meat's gotta flow, and so does blood. I'd say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. Spirit. 
Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Good thing Dad's got other worries in his mind. Right behind you. That's a relief. Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Shit. The spirit! There's another exit behind the barrels, but they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to.
I get my hands on that pyromaniac. Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, <laughs> but I have no witcher senses at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. through the mead. Breaks off. Need to find another clue nearby, something else to follow. Must have felt his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No, it can't be. What is it? Arnvald's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. Grab a horse, we'll chase him down.
Go, go. Shit, he's fast. Why'd you betray them? Talk or I'll finish what I started. No Oncrit should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability, a strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken Jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar, Arnvald. We need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us, and I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the maid. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Boona Brands! The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison meat to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. T'was your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness, Arnvald. Zerus speaks true. Bernard commanded me to poison the maid. When Cerus and the Witcher descended into the cellars, you betrayed us. The clan that took you in. Good man. He's a servant to Oncrate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Burner speaks true. Arnvald has served at Kaer Trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Burner to Arnvald. Instructing him how to spike the mead. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked through the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Burn is right, Cyrus. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. You're making a big mistake. Silence, wanderer. 
Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. Gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. The massacre was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Svan Riga, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Crape. And you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. When I had a lust for power, I knew this, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile or death. Mm, but enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again? No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinath, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. We're just in time. They've already started. Word long ago, we gave King Bran back to the sea. Today, our morning ends. Today, by the grace of the gods and the clans, a new ruler takes the crown. Let us swear her fealty. I know some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 Ceres!
What's the new Queen of Skellica planning? Um, to listen, learn, and listen again. Then we'll save you. Good plan. I must unite the clans. I'd rather avoid war, but if Nilfgaard aims to attack, we must repel them together. Drummond folk might be a problem. I saw Lugas during the ceremony. Furious, to say the least. There's always been strife between our clans. But I must try and talk to him. Just might bring him around. Keep my fingers crossed. Farewell. Looks to me you're near bursting with pride. <laughs> if only you knew, Wolf. Tell me, what other Jarl can boast children like mine? <laughs> Shame their mother didn't live to see this. Ceres will make a good queen. Maybe she can finally unite the clans. Let's hope. And if not, she'll always have me and Yalma. If the need arises, we'll take up arms for her. She didn't skimp on my voice as she did with some others I know. See, one of us, a gill, went mute all of a sudden. No spell or potion helps him. But it is said strong emotions and experiences can restore speech. So I thought perhaps you might. I'll pay you, of course. It give you an excellent Gwent card. Suppose I could try. I wouldn't even know where to start. You want me to scare him? Aye, good, good. That should do it. Scare, irritate. Whatever you wish, provided you do him no harm. You can usually find a gill near the Hallowed Oak. The man is probably praying in his heart for a cure. Got a grotto. But Grimmest. Well, he's a tad eccentric. And he stopped taking on apprentices ages ago. What do you druids deal in these days?
to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Heard you calling. Aye, as I was. I thank Mother Nature she didn't skimp on my voice as she did with some others I knew. See, one of us. No spell or potion helps him. But it is said strong emotions and experiences can restore speech. Suppose I could try. Aye, good, good. That should do it. Sacred Grove. Looking for someone who'd know some master alchemist for me, Lee. Then you're looking for Grammist? Never heard of anyone who would know more about plants and their attributes than me. Where can I find him? Here in the Grove. He's got a grotto. But Grammist... He's a tall eccentric. And he stopped taking on apprentices ages ago.
Welcome to the Sacred Grove. What do you druids deal in these days? talk to you. But I do not wish to speak. Leave. You distress me. You seem a nice enough guy. Well, I'm not. A plan never to be. I became a druid to avoid others. To not have to deal with them. Not to smile when I don't wish to. To feign compassion when someone's travails matter less to me than a pair of birch cones. So I should be straight. The 
Elias Fritjof. Who is he? The Vader Maker, huh? You don't know the word, do you? And I pledge to make you my apprentice. A Vader Maker is a druid who can manipulate the weather, stop a storm, cause hail, make lightning turn your enemy to ash. I advise to address him with the utmost respect. If This Fritjof. Spirit. What do you need that? I shall must go. Potential apprentice. Alcohol is the base for all potions. Superior alcohol needs a higher quality potion. This spirit has no equal. Its strength. Its favor. Unfortunately. This delivery atop Hale Hill has fallen into disrepair. We've lacked a source ever since. But you'll manage somehow, won't you? You're so confident. Creature jealously guarding some secrets? Sounds familiar. All right, I'll do it. But this ritual you want to perform, what's that about? If you wish to be my apprentice, you must stop asking questions. I decide what to tell you and when to do it. Now go, chop chop, before I change my mind. I've told you what you must do. Why do you still? Must be prospering around here, huh? Heard the silver and Oh, my God. 
Fritjof. That's right. And what do they call you, Richard? Me. Drifter, stranger, mutant. Sometimes even by my name. Geralt of Rivia. Ha! A man with a sense of humor. I like that. Well, what can I do for you, Geralt of Rivia? Grimmest wanted me to summon you. Need you to help him perform a ritual. A ritual? Will this one stop him from being a mean old goat? I would go see him, for old time's sake, but I have more important matters on my mind. Look about you. The ground. See how dry it is. It's not rained for weeks. The grass and pastures has withered. Sheep are starving. I must bring rain. Feel Wait just a moment. Perhaps you can help me. How? I'm a man of many talents, but manipulating the weather is not one of them. I have in mind a different skill. You see, Mother Nature dislikes it when you take something from her by force. She will defend herself. So fiercely, in fact, that I could use a defender myself. What is it? Sure, I'll help. Provided you go see Gremist afterwards. Agreed. Now follow me. Time for a little storm. not managed a storm that fine for ages. Did you see the drops? The size of X. A little busy tending to the foglets. They weren't small either. Ah, yes. Unfortunately, they always emerge. But perhaps that's for the best. For the best? Why? If manipulating the weather carried no risks, it'd not give me peace. Make it rain, make the sun shine. Some would want storms, others a sea calm as a pond frozen over. This way folk petition me only when their need is great, not because they've had a whim. I get it. There are times I wish I didn't have to chase this necker or that drowner. Will you go see Grimace now? With pleasure. After a storm of those proportions, I shall gladly have to help him with his ritual. Till then.
decently. Another seeker of Pimpernel. Another? Grenis has sent countless young druids into the forest. They emerge drained, with a blank stare, and with no flower. And they never speak of what happened. I've asked Grenis to stop the folly. He looked at me and laughed. But the fun's over. One of our novices, Ramond, has failed to return. I've come to find him, alive or dead. What do you know about this forest? Not much. Funny, isn't it? A druid should know every tree, every bush. But even we know not to venture to some parts of the isle. We can subdue animals, but not monsters. And the word is, one has made its lair here. A Leshen? An Axebrim? Sadly, I don't know. As I said, those who have entered do not speak of who or what they saw. Listen, you're looking for a druid, I'm looking for a flower. Let's go in together. Why not? I could use the help of a tracker. Lead the way. Flower. No petals. Hoof prints. The bipeds. Footprints. Some fresh, others faded. All leading in the same direction. Oh, no, no! Oh, stop! 